Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck, I just dropped my cigarette. Hold up. Hey. Okay, seriously, guys, hold up. <laughs> Imagine if that went back. That would be a funny ass video. I'd be like, Bruh! but anyway. <laughs> Not supposed to be funny. Wink. All right. <laughs> I can't pause. I I can't edit this crap. It's literally just me. So please <laughs> have patience. And if you don't, just delete, ignore, and don't bother me as well. Okay. Cause I don't need no fucking hate comments. You guys are so fucking hateful. We got feminism. We got all this ism, ism this, ism that, ism this. The world has gone to shit. That's all I gotta say. Literally. You guys are fucking everything up. It used to be good. I mean, like, vote. <laughs> Uh, I'd say 50 years ago, but even 10 years ago it was better than this. We have all these fucking people on the streets crying and fucking ranting and fucking breaking <clears throat> uh, buildings and, and people's fucking workplaces that they literally came to Canada to build, took all their time, patience, and, you know... I mean, for fuck's sake. And then these fucking little fascists, or whatever the fuck they're called, Antifa, blah blah fucking blah, are going there just to riot and break and destroy pretty much these people's futures. Like, uh, why? Why would you do that? Because you don't like Trump? So you're fucking breaking someone else you don't even know is fucking business? That's none of your business. I mean, come on. Like, why would you do that? Man, these people are fucked up. Honestly, I just want to put them all together and literally shoot them. Actually, no. I'd rather make them suffer first and then shoot them. People are going to hate me about this video, but whatever. I, I, honestly, I, I'm getting to a point where I really do not care anymore. I don't care. Sorry, hold on. Anyways, uh, yeah, back. I saw a little clip. Um, hold up. Listen. Black Lives Matter is fun by the White House, ma'am. By Obama, George Soros. What about the people who are marching for All lives matter. Number one, all lives matter. Okay? God made us all. God made us all. All lives matter. So if you want to separate yourself and put yourself on a platform about black life, but what about that yellow man? What about that orange person? What about that purple person? What about... See what I mean? Why can't everybody think that way? I mean, it, to me, it's common sense, but apparently a lot of people fucking, I don't know, they freak out. Oh my god, you're black! What is the melanin or whatever you call that shit, the pigmentation in your skin, have to do with anything? You're still a fucking human being. I mean, it's simple as that. I mean, <laughs> and then we go on fucking 10 years and this and that and that. Oh my god, don't even get me started with feminism. Those chicks are ruining everything for us. For us normal fucking people. I think I'm fucking normal, but I, I may swear a lot, but I mean, oh my god. Uh, there, there was an actor <clears throat> not too long ago and um, 
he's a very, very good looking guy. And, uh, he doesn't want to fucking date anyone anymore. Because he's scared. If he even approaches her, she's gonna fucking yell, RAPE! Isn't that fucked up? Seriously, isn't that fucked up? Guys are scared to approach women because... Sorry, I get... <laughs> <laughs> guys are scared to approach women because they're scared of the fact that she's literally going to say rape and you know what's fuck even more fucked up the jury and all these retarded people are, are going to be like yeah she's she's right not him she's right like I said we're we're <laughs> We're living in a really fucked up world. So listen, bitches, feminists, and whatever. If if you want a guy, you're going to have to approach him. Because obviously you scared him off to a point that he can't even fucking approach you anymore. So now you just made guys pussies, pretty much. They don't want to deal with the law. And you're making them do that by your stupidity. Pete's sakes, man. I was actually watching a, a video earlier today. Um, I wish I could. I wish I knew how to edit it to post it in the corner there, but. Wow, man. <laughs> that was the dumbest shit I've seen in a very long ass time. Very long ass time. Um, some chick was just, I guess, riding her car or whatever, and she started yelling, oh no, the, the guy said hi to her, or hello. It, it was an older gentleman, I, I think it was like Italian, you know, I mean, that that's how we are, or, I'm not Italian, I'm Slovenian, but we, we say hi to people, random people. Even if we don't know them, we're, we're just respectful and we say hi, hello. If I'm walking down the street and I walk across somebody, I say hi, just hi, that's it, doesn't matter, it's not a big fucking deal, right? It's actually nice. And then they smile and they say hi back. And then you go your separate ways. But this fucking chick started going mental, calling this guy racist. Actually, you know what, hold on. I'm going to fucking find that video because I need to play it in the background. You guys will understand what I'm talking about. She's fucking nuts. All right. I, I think I might have found it. Hold on. So right now, I'm sorry you guys can't see this, but she's driving around. Just driving. Got your tape, bitch. <laughs> I got you on tape, bitch. I don't know what the relevance of that is, but is who the fuck say that? Right, it's gonna be on YouTube. Right, don't fucking. <laughs> Sorry. I had to pause that because. The older guy looks so fucking cute. He looks like my dad, but like shorter. <laughs> if anyone talked to my dad that way, oh, ah. you have no idea. Anyways, you can say hello to me, bitch. Don't fucking say hello. I don't play that sexual harassment shit. Let me get your address. Sexual. Bitch, don't fucking say hi to strange women you don't know, bitch. Three. Eight. <laughs> Four, nine, two. Bitch, you shouldn't have been sexually harassing me. I can call oh, the cops God. on you for that. Good. Oh, Fat, good funky one. motherfucker. Who okay, first, okay, first of all. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Sexual harassment <laughs> for saying hello. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm literally going to die of laughter here. She called it sexual harassment.
Okay, I, I don't get, I don't get, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. This is so stupid to me. <laughs> Are people that dumb? Like, guys, seriously, let me know, because... Are they really that ignorant to a point where they don't understand the term of sexual harassment and they just fucking everywhere, shit it out everywhere, talk about it everywhere? I mean, come on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me play this again. Sorry, I got it. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> Who the fuck you say think you're talking to? Don't fucking say hello to me. Then get your gun. You shouldn't be no, here. No, bitch. I should be here. Why the fuck you gonna say I shouldn't be here? Why should not be here saying hello to people? Don't fucking say hello to me. I'm gonna go, no. Go, bitch. Do what the fuck you wanna do. Hey, what if you like me? Wow. And I, if you like another? Fucking drunk. What you gonna call the cops on me for? Oh, Bitch, y'all be sexually harassing motherfuckers, bitch, and now that I'm standing against your white ass, you got a fucking problem with it. You know what, half the time, I don't even blame it on people, I blame it on the fucking media. Because the media keeps spewing fucking nonsense that doesn't even fucking matter. Sorry, there's a spider here. Hey, buddy. Okay, uh... Yeah, media. Unless it's Fox News. I mean, Fox at least legitimately fucking uh, <clears throat> talks about shit that's relevant. CNN. What do you call that? Uh, <laughs> when you talk so much shit to a point. Anyways, I can't think about it. Let's play this again. Don't say shit to me, bitch. Uh, fucking weirdo. I'm not weirdo. Yeah, you are fucking weirdo. I'm like you calling you on your sexual harassment, you bitch. Please, tell me, come down here. Get this crazy broad off No, ass. bitch. You are fucking crazy. You oh, are too crazy. Say, yeah, you call me crazy, bitch. Call what? me a nigga too while you at it. I don't know shit. I'm not prejudiced. I, I don't give a fuck. You don't say hello to me. You thought, oh, she a cute little black chick. I'm gonna say I don't fucking say shit to me, bitch. Who the fuck said you were fuck cute? Well, he say hello to you, bitch. He can talk to you. <laughs> fuck you gonna call him all for? Stupid hoe. <laughs> He's calling cops. Fucking whips. Calling cops. Calling cops. <laughs> Call the cops, bitch. I got your license plate, bitch, and I know where y'all live. <laughs> oh my god. In the video, he was literally calling the cops, and she was acting like she didn't care. But she was like literally like fucking running into her car and leaving. <laughs> fucking call the cops, you fucking pussy. Yeah. So why don't you fucking stay there, you fucking bitch? Got it on YouTube. It's evidence. Oh my god. This is gonna be a long ass video, let me tell you. There's so much shit I want to talk about. Oh. <laughs> I wish you guys were like beside me so I could talk to you. Like, yeah, this one is another. And then, yeah, really? Oh, yeah, for real, bro. Okay, hold on. Oh, fuck, you drank the Kool Aid too? No. Better be Trump Kool Aid, because I ain't gonna fuck with you. It's <laughs> Trump Kool Aid. Liberals, <sighs> I'm sorry, but I don't think I could chill with a liberal. Just like, I'm not judging them based on being a liberal. It's more so based on uh, what they agree with. Put it that way. 
I mean, I, I can't chill with somebody that agrees with feminism, agrees with uh, LGBT times 10 fucking million motherfucking hits. <laughs> like, what? Uh, he, she, uh, non-binary, fucking... Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck is going on. It's not in the dictionary. It's not scientific. It's not... Oh, climate change. Oh, fuck. Climate change. Don't even get me started on that. Years. Thousands of years. The, war the earth has been warming, cooling, warming, cooling, warming, cooling. Now is the time that it's warming. And all of a sudden people are fucking freaking out. Look it up. It is normal. It's n and you know what? Even NASA doesn't have evidence saying that it's fucking due to humans. So I don't know what the fuck you guys are going on about. You just want to fucking raise the money on the electricity bills. That's it. That's it. It's just fucking money. Fucking assholes. <laughs> In Trump words. Money, 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 money. Money. Speaking of Apprentice, Omarosa can suck my non-existent dick. I hate that bitch. Actually, I hated her at first, but then kind of liked her when she was, like, dealing with Trump. But now I fucking hate her again. Just like a love-hate material type of fucking cunt. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I wasn't going to add on to this, but just one more thing I, I need to... <laughs> I need to play. Again, I'm sorry you guys can't see the video, but you got you got to listen to it. It's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. So in today's video, you're going to learn exactly why Hillary Clinton is going to win the 2016 presidential election. She's a shoo-in, and it's all because she's a woman. Definitely when you think about the fact that we already have had our first african-american president i think this is really an era of progression in american politics and we could set the stage for really set an example for the rest of the world if we have our first african-american president and then immediately follow that with our first woman president that would just be amazing that would be really cool because she's a woman and it's woman it's empowerment the first candidate that i would vote for i think that this country is ready for a female president I'm not a feminist but you know Ready for a new, fresh face a um, in office? What do you think is her greatest Same achievement shit. as Secretary of State? Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Just so many. Just the fact that she's been such a world leader um, and just recognized all over as doing so many great things like I don't even know world that I can leader. pick a single accomplishment. We're like going back. Really? After the election, I was all around to so many people. I said, guys, look on the right side. Look at this. I was telling everybody, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I was like, I am certain this is not the first time we've elected a racist, sexist, homophobic president. This, this, he ain't the first one. He's just the first confirmed one. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Fuck all y'all. one thing that mm, I don't know I, I don't like that right because <laughs> I'm making a video but anyways I, I don't like how people call him like sex or whatever the fuck they say because he spoke about that in closed doors towards his quote unquote friends I mean come on when you're in closed doors, mom, okay, listen, when you're in closed doors with your female friends, don't you guys talk about guys? 
No. Well, maybe I should ask somebody else. Because <laughs> they do. You and Dad take everything way too seriously. Me and Dad take everything way too seriously. Well, you know what? Me and Dad are realists. No, but he would start fighting over some <laughs> somebody over that. <laughs> so would I. It's annoying. I mean, like, if you listen to it so many times to a point where it's like, it, it starts aggravating you, obviously. Because it's fake, Mom. It, it, it's, it's fake, though. That's the thing. When you constantly hear fake shit, Ow. doesn't that piss you off? I mean, it, listen, if you had a friend, for example, and um, they, they kept lying to you, and you knew in the back of your head that they were lying, wouldn't that piss you off? Yeah, I agree, but we can't do that with the freaking, uh, with all these celebrities, because they keep talking. Anyways, apparently I'm the same as my father. He has a, a pretty big temperament and can't deal with uh, stupid shit. Nothing wrong with that. But if she was like doing those things and like getting people killed unnecessarily or one of those policies, you'd be like, no, I'm not going to support her. Like, I yeah. Well, I have some bad news for you. I know. <laughs> I know. She was like, it's not a perfect candidate. And I know that there's a lot of, especially in those particular things, that she is all for. Um, so, really, it's really good. So, you knew all that. And you support her anyway. Yeah. So, you're willing to say, let's have a female president in the White House, even if she gets people killed, just because she has different genitalia. We're going to support her. It doesn't matter if people die as a result. I mean, that's, that's a really horrible thing to say. Say, but I guess I didn't think of it in that sense. Is it her pro-life stance? How do you not think about that? I mean, come on. How do you not think about that before even considering voting for someone who's going to run your fucking country? You don't think about her past. You don't think about her present. You don't think about her fucking uh, mental illness. You don't think of, of any of that. You just want her to be president because she's a fucking woman? Wow. <laughs> My head just, like, got like a shock of, uh, it hurt. It j it hurt. <laughs> Yeah. 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 She's, a, she's a woman. It's really she's all about a woman. We need women in the right. world. You know. Sure. Right. No, you don't. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it'll be a great thing for us as women. You know, because we have much to say as women. <laughs> that makes me laugh. As women, we need more women. Why? <laughs> what the fuck are they gonna do? Seriously, what are they gonna do? Apparently, they don't fucking cook anymore. <laughs> they don't want to clean anymore. They don't want to fucking uh, support anybody anymore. They just want to fucking be independent and work. I was I was watching a radio cast uh, earlier yesterday, and this chick was complaining that she had to cook for her for her uh, fucking husband who was working 24-7. She was complaining about cooking. She's like, why can't we just fucking go out and eat? First of all, you stupid asshole, and rude, by the way, you're at home all day. Your husband is, <laughs> is freaking working his ass off until 10 p.m., okay? He comes home. Do you think... He wants to come home to pick your ass up and fucking get ready and then go back out to have dinner and then pay for the bill on top of the bills he's already paying for? No! <laughs> no! How do people not get this? To me, it's common sense. I... <sighs> <laughs> oh my god uh, 
I don't know. Uh, I, I actually can't believe people like that exist. Anyways, I'm gonna call on with the video because I'm, uh, I'm honestly getting really fucking heated right now. You say I turned over everything. That's, for the most part, a direct quote. When you talk to the public, you say I turned over everything. 90 to 95 percent of my work-related emails were in the state system. If they wanted to see them, they would certainly have been able to. You know what? That, that, is, that is maybe the tenth time you have cited that figure today. It is. And I have not heard anyone other than you ever cite that figure. Who, who told you that 90 to 95 percent of your emails were on the state, were in the State Department system? Who told you that? We learned that from the State Department and their analysis of the, of the emails that were already on the system. The Inspector General report found that less than 1%, less than 1% of State Department emails, record emails, were captured. So they give a number of less than 1%, and you give a number of 90%. Uh, I remember landing under sniper fire. We basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. I'm covering accounts of your trip to Bosnia and I'm wondering if you can clarify. I know you, you were called, uh, you know, ducking under sniper fire, and, and Sinbad, in his account, who's on the trip, he, he said that the most dangerous part was remembering where he was going to eat next. Did, you He's a comedian. Gotcha. He's a comedian. So you actually were calling, you know, hearing gunfire? And we were when, we were, when we were flying into Bosnia, we came in in a uh, evasive maneuver. Um, there was no greeting ceremony, and we basically were told to run to our cars. Once again, her memory doesn't match our videotape. <laughs> she and her daughter Chelsea lingered on the tarmac to greet U.S. military officials. Took photos. There was the group of 7th graders on the tarmac, too. And then <laughs> Senator Clinton walked to the armored vehicle where she did... Another bitch liar. ...that eventually duck and enter. Get your abortions now. <laughs> We're going to be fucked, and we're going to have to live with it. You're awake, buddy. Yeah, for real. Get your abortions now, because you don't want anyone else looking <laughs> like Hillary. Get them out of the fucking world. You're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Also, you're not dead, and you haven't gone to hell. This is your life now. This is our election now. This is us. This is our country. This is a different oh, yeah? earth today than oh, yeah? it was. Yeah. Wait until you fucking raise more money. 24 hours ago. It's a different place. Uh, cause it just is different. The woman who President Obama called the most qualified person ever to run for the White House couldn't break through. The question remains, who can? Deeper concerns tonight that the world's shining light of democracy has gone dark. Decency lost last night, and that's what's so uh, hurtful about this. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. And that's the part where the pain comes. I kind of push back against the advancement of African Americans, of Hispanics, of women, of Muslim Americans. It is a, a mourning moment for, for those people, uh, and it is, a, it is a moment filled with fear. As I'm on this network and people know my attitudes about things, they come up to me and they're scared, depressed, despair, desperate even. Uh, almost clinging to me. It was a rough night for everybody, I think. Um, you know, we're worried. The people are worried. You know, okay, he's the Shut president. Up, now boy. It feels like we're trying to avoid the apocalypse sure. and half of the country is voting for the asteroid. Yeah. Is there a doomsday plan for a time like this? Am I right to ask about a doomsday plan? Do you see this as a doomsday scenario? So if Donald Trump is democratically elected and your son is serving as a Marine, you wouldn't trust his life under that commander in chief. And Kane said, "Oh my God, okay, this is getting a pretty extraordinary thing to say. Uh, if you have a son in the Marine Corps and that you don't trust the commander in chief, they, the people in the military defend the Constitution. I can't put. I, I cannot put a, a, a. Sorry, guys. I gotta keep playing it. I'm almost gonna fall asleep, but I can't put a happy face on that." And, and that's my job. This is the first time 
throughout this entire race where I'm officially shitting my pants. <laughs> I, I genuinely do not understand how America can be this disorganized or this hateful. How do you govern when your whole campaign was built on the hatred of somebody else? From slavery to you know Nazism, we have faced challenges before to who we are as a people. Plus the Supreme Court, who knows okay. that? This shit makes me laugh. They're talking about hate. Hate. Because uh, Trump was elected. Come on. Uh, look what's going on right now. Who do you think is more hateful? The liberals? Or Republicans? Or fucking Republicans sitting back, not doing shit, just minding our own business. And you see fucking liberals making all these fucking gangs, different gangs, and attacking people, businesses, innocent people on the fucking street. They're just walking down with Make America Great Again hat, and uh, they get knocked off or fucking beaten. Fuck, even people that I don't even know that isn't wearing any, like, Trump uh, merchandise or whatever, and they're fucking getting beaten. It's crazy. And now you're talking about hate. Hmm. Okay. Fucking hypocrisy at its best. It's retarded, honey. That's gonna go. So the only checks and balances we have are us. The I hate that bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I fucking hate that bitch joy from the view how much more stupid can you get as a fucking person the answer is watch joy on the view the best ad campaign, the best ground game. This is a shot against meritocracy, I think. Because she married in everything. The normal way you standardize these things, she did what she supposed yeah. to do to win. You know, she was Hillary Clinton, the most qualified candidate, the best <laughs> suited for the job, the best temperament. Now we're doing not a good candidate. Is John Wayne throwing his support behind her? Obviously, you think he'll do that? I mean, whatever helps her get presidency. Do you, do you think that John Wayne's endorsement of Hillary Clinton is going to help get her ahead? More than likely, I why? <laughs> this is the one thing. Sorry, I just burped. Um, <clears throat> this is. <laughs> hey, get out of there! One thing I uh, <laughs> fuck. I'm trying to give you advice here. Drinking a beer at the same time. <laughs> it's only Coors Light though. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, liberals and uh, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put them two together. A lot of people, when you ask them, liberals, for example, um, why they hate Trump, they don't know. Why they want to vote for Hillary, even though she's done some pretty fucking mean-ass shit, they either don't know or because she's a woman. Now, <laughs> would you take those two reasons to put a person in the highest power of a country? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I didn't think so either. So, <laughs> let's keep going. In. Well, also, yeah. The, the bigger celebrity, the, the, the better, the right? Better. Yes, sir, most definitely. A lot of people love John Wayne's films. <laughs> yeah. So, you, you think John Wayne's endorsement of Hillary is gonna gonna be a good thing, or is that gonna be a bad thing? I would say it's a good thing. John Wayne, huh? Really? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I I gotta fact check this for a second here. John Wayne endorser. Uh, hold on. not know that. Fuck, now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. 
smoke weed every day. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He died in 1979, man. He died before I was even fucking born. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I want to know? Uh, <clears throat> what's his name? Oh, fuck. I can't think about it. My All these bugs are all over me. Get the fuck off. <laughs> what's his name? Oh, shit. He played that song, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. You know? Fuck. Now I gotta look this up too. <laughs> My computer is paused. I'm just waiting for it to fucking load. Oh, come on, what the Fuck off. Why aren't you fucking working? Alright. I guess that ends this video. Anyways, I was uh, <laughs> trying to think of Clint Eastwood. Because I know for sure he'd go for Trump. Bye.